Okay, welcome back to another video. Um, this time we're going to cover a little bit of Flash. If you're used to working with Flash, this is probably nothing new. Otherwise, maybe you'll learn something. Um, as a side note, uh, I'm not going to say it'll work for everyone, but Creeper World, which is our test program here, is an Adobe Air game. So some of them happen to be Flash. I'm not going to say all of them are. But in this case it is. So with the Flash decompiler or FF deck, you would go and find your file, download it, and then you would come and open it. Um, with this Adobe Air game, you go to Tools, and then Search and Memory. You would select the process and hit Select or Double Click. And then it would take a minute and it would scan for Flash files. And you'll probably get several. Um, for instance, when you right-click a Flash game and it has the settings and it has the microphone, camera, permissions, and all that, one of these is that. Um, in this case, the main one we want is the biggest one. So if we go ahead and open that up, and you can see that we go to scripts, and there's a bunch of stuff in here. Most of them aren't actually all that interesting. They're just little random classes that say do whatever our base class does but you come into the right ones and in this case it's com wb war and creeper and then you can start finding some interesting ones the most interesting with this game is probably game space for whatever reason that's what the developer named it um, and it's got the updates an initialization for most of the things in the game and if you come over to this key code basically flash pipe code and push this middle button right here it's a hex value and what these are is like normal assembly code um, what you would see in here it has the bytes right here well this is an x86 code, but it is flash bytecode. And actually, do I have that open? I think I have it open with a web browser. Um, it has a virtual machine, basically. And it has its own instructions. Let's, see. Let's get to some of them. Like convert K, which is hex 73. Um, convert D, which converts to a double, which is hex 75. Or the more interesting ones are push true and push false, which are 26 and 27. So, I'm not sure where push false is, but you also find push short and things like that. So, that's what these bytes are, and of course, what the actual instructions here are. And if you're just saving the file, you can edit and save the file, and sometimes you can edit this. Um, I've had problems with this, it's not perfect. And then you can edit this and save the file, and that's much more accurate. But most people want to make like a little cheat table or trainer, and you don't want to distribute the file. So how you do that is you come in here, you figure out what bytes you would change, and you come in here and you do a scan for them. And then you change them. So pretty basic stuff. Um, the limits are that you don't have like an actual assembler, you can't type um, push false, push true, and have Cheat Engine do it for you, you have to put the actual bytes. In this case, hex 2 is a not byte instead of hex 90. So, it's not that different from regular uh, x86 assembly code. And it is and it isn't, the basic idea is, is the same. So, just as an example here, um, let's see, packet speed, and eh, not a great example. Something I have more information on. You know, in hindsight, I should have put which file these were in. The gun range, I think that was over here in base gun. Let's see, leave that open. The start range. Search, and for some reason, Enter here doesn't actually go to the next thing. You have to actually click arrows. Um, it also doesn't have ignore case by default. 
Okay, apparently it's not in that file. Then, I don't think that's right. Then start firing, start ramp. Yeah, that one has one. For the mortar, I believe. So what you do is you would come in here and you say, okay, I want to change this stuff. Uh, generally, there it goes. You got to click in the right place sometimes for these public ones. You can come up here and find out where it's at. Start range, push bite. Okay. In this case, I know 24 is push bite. So you can just change this to hex 7F to push 127. Or you could actually come in here and go edit P code. Okay, I want to push 127. And Chip. I don't know why it went to zero. Push by 127. Wait. There we go. Now it's 7F. Uh, what you do have to be careful of is not adding extra instructions because uh, you don't have Cheat Engine to help you here. You can't allocate memory and then just jump to it. Um, now, there probably is a way to allocate memory in Cheat Engine and then write uh, the proper jump instruction using the exit the flash assembly code but i haven't played with that i don't know for sure that you can do it i certainly don't know how to do it because i haven't tried to but you can get pretty good just doing direct byte manipulations here you can change whether if statements are true or false um, by changing the type of jump so instead of if true, you can have you can change it to if false. Um, there's jumps here. Um, greater equals if true. Let's see. Might be faster to look in here. If param. If false. Um, there's some conditional jumps. If false, false. Turn it less than in here. Here's a greater than or equal. So you can come in here and change if not greater or equal to if not less than or equal or something like that to change how things jump around. Just like in x86, you would change a JE for jump equals to a, a JL for jump less. Or J and E for jump not equal. You can do pretty much the same thing in Flash. Um, so what else was I going to cover? Um, well, I guess I could walk you through actually hacking one of these games that I haven't done already. I don't want to close everything. File. Oh, yeah. So, I have intentionally downloaded the demo for Cooper World 2, which I know is also an Adobe Air and Flash game, and I haven't hacked it. There we go. Might be a bit loud, I'm not sure. Just a minute. So, tools, search, um, refresh list, Cooper World 2, select. Um, probably this one. This seems like an, uh, it's a big file, but it also has a small version. I mean, I guess it's this one. Oops. Have a game space? Um, Apple Cracker. Um, uh, Miner. Seems like a weird name. But... Hmm. Reaper. Game space, okay. So, this is probably what we want. Ball. Yeah. So, energy. Find. Energy. Energy stack. 
max 4242, interesting number. I want to see the code that uses it. Um, let's initialize them. That's the constructor. Say it does update. And it also has function names as well. And read our functions. So update. Or I assume it would be called because that's what it was in the first place. Uh, mute. And very instant win. Uh, that seems like a useful function. Not one I'm interested in right now, though. Update. There we go. Not quite as nice as the Unity, because you get these random local variables, I guess, temporary variables, and you don't know. You have to figure out what they're used for, but. A lot nicer than playing x86 assembly code. I'll tell you that much. Of course, the P code isn't much nicer. <laughs> so, I would search for energy again now that I'm meshing. That here. Energy collection rate zero. Addition rate. If this dot stash is greater than that stash, set max. Dash max. Okay. Nope, not greater. No, nope, greater than. So we want to change that to a less than. Okay, let's get the original bytes first. So, looking checked. The local v0. And here's where it sets it. Part of the next one. So, this. Is all related to this part right here, where it's checking the stash and then updating it. And did I close cheat engine? I did. Day two. Put this in a comment. And our byte is P0. Six eight six two A D zero six six F seven P nine zero E zero eight zero 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 P zero D zero six six F seven two nine six eight eight six two A D zero. So B scan energy map. And what do we want to change? Instead of greater than, we want less than. Find that code again. It goes to the top. Uh, there it is. The less than is zero C. So we want to change this to a zero C. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bytes. Energy plus eight. DB zero C. And that's a if not greater than two. Is it this not greater than? Oh, is that what it was? Anyway, okay. If not, a set. Yeah. Enable. And of course, we can't disable, so we don't really put anything in there. So. Okay. Energy max. Now, it enabled it, but because that code probably already ran, it's not really going to do anything. They start building a bunch of stuff. Now, see how it's going down, and it shouldn't be. So, I'm going to have to restart by closing the game and opening it back up. Reattaching. Now, enable it. Now, when we 
we go into the mission. Ah, look at that. We've got a ton of energy now. <laughs> so we could do the same for ore and technology, presumably. And you could find things like the range of weapons and fire rates. And it's all just a matter of looking through and finding it. Just like when you have a Unity game and you have mono up here. Um, but that's pretty much it. You come in here, you look at the bytes, you figure out how to change them. Not much to it. Just a matter of taking your time. Okay. I hope you guys learned something. Or girls. Bye.